So let's take a look at this hive. The last hive we looked at was, you know, it was kind of all rainbows and butterflies. Um, this hive, from the little peak I've gotten, I don't think it's going to be the same. I think we've got some issues with this hive. So right off the bat, you can see these top bars. They aren't very covered with bees. You know, I can look down between and I can see that, you know, we've got a couple frames with bees on it. But in general, there's not a lot of population up in the second box. This hive is two deep boxes. And so when I pull up some frames, you know, that's just a beautiful frame of capped honey. We've got plenty of honey. Look at that. Just a gorgeous frame of honey, but not a lot of bees. And about half of this box is foundation. So you can see this frame isn't drawn out mostly. So the middle one, two, three, four, the middle five frames are drawn out and are completely full of honey, which is about you know 30 to 40 pounds of honey so they've got plenty of honey especially for this small of a hive but not a lot of bees up here so let's see what's going on below so down below you can see that we've got some bees but not not just a whole lot let me show you this population a little more closely You're gonna have to bear with my uh, videography skills. There you go. So you can see there's, you know, really only about four, maybe five frames covered with bees. So let's take a look and see if we can figure out if there's an issue or if they just dwindle for some reason, which often happens with bees. They've got a pollen patty that they've eaten a little bit of. Let's see if they've got any brood um at all and see if we see any pollen or any any reason that this hive is so much smaller i would say this hive is on the verge of one i would consider combining with another um i'd say they've probably got four to five frames of bees i'm gonna leave them for another month and if they continue to shrink then next month i'll combine them so i've got some decent bee population on some of these bottom frames I've even got some brood so I've got uh, some larva eggs and larva so they've got a queen which is a great sign you can see it's not much but uh, they do have they do have some eggs and they do have some cat brood and larva which is always good to see this time of year it's not a great pattern but that's kind of to be expected this late in the year so you know they've got a queen if they were queenless then i would probably go ahead and combine them with another hive since they're weak but um they've got a queen she's laying they've got about five frames of bees which is right on the verge so i'm going to go ahead and leave them and if they're i'm going to say down to two or three frames of bees a month from now i'll combine them but if they kind of can maintain those four or five frames of bees through the next six weeks or so then i'll leave them be and they'll probably pull through to next year